Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, the wonderful potato of the delicious potato curry combo. Uh, that me and potato, that me and potato, me and myself, I and Irene, uh, me and curry makeup. Uh, so I'm actually gonna play a little bit of the Binding of Isaac too. But uh, unlike uh, curry, I've actually played, I played a lot of this game. I've played like 200 and like 70 hours, I think, by now in this. I don't know, everyone's got that one little game they, they continuously just go back to and then they play a lot. I've golden godded this fucking thing twice, once with the uh, the normal game, once with the DLC. Uh, so while I'm playing, I'm just going to kind of give commentary on kind of what power-ups I'm getting, kind of what things you want to try and get, and when, when you know you're just screwed, you should probably just quit the game and try again. Um, I don't know, I find it's a, it's a really interesting combination of kind of like a, a gambling mechanic via how the game builds your character, and... Um, and just kind of a, a skill-based roguelike. It's, it's quite fun. I know, I know there's harder roguelikes. Don't, don't. I'm probably pissing off some hardcore dude by saying that. But it's, it's a really fun game. You should probably, probably pay it. Play it. Today, Junior. Fuck no, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm horrible right now. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I've actually already started a recording of this, uh, and then I realized that um, my capture uh, screen was <laughs> of my desktop. <laughs> So there was me just talking to nothing uh, and uh, staring at icons for like 30 minutes. So I'm just gonna try this again, see if I can actually get a little bit of uh, useful footage. So we're gonna just do a standard playthrough. Um, I'm, I would use normally use Kane. Kane is probably my favorite character to go to, even though he starts with one less health. That extra damage that he has, as soon as he get a bit of range or just an extra bit of health, is just awesome. Also, luck foot. That's oh, right, luck foot is just an incredible passive pretty much to have to start with because it means every single pill you get uh, just can't hurt you it can't hurt you anyway it'll probably either do nothing or it'll start giving you bonuses so if you get cane you get something like mom's purse or anything that allows you to distribute pills or just a mom's thing of pills it, it's awesome he, he basically just builds himself um, and a lot of these other characters are kind of fun uh, Judas I, he's really fun but he's got so little health Eve sucks I fucking hate her he's more of just for Bragan rights Samson's okay but I don't like him much but whatever, I'll just do the basic Isaac, because he's pretty awesome, man. It's old Isaac. I actually really like the name Isaac, just because of, just like, Isaac Azimar. I Isaac Asimov? I know, I used to read him once or a few times when I was a kid. Didn't quite enjoy it. It's probably, it's probably the reason why I like, like, robots and shit. Probably one of the reasons. Because he was one of those guys who, like, looked at robots, and instead of seeing, like, the potential for monsters, he saw, like, appliances. And said, you know, no one's afraid of their dishwasher. No one's afraid of this, you know, why the fuck would be so afraid of a robot? Obviously he hasn't seen DARPA's uh, alpha of the uh, suppress civilian suppression unit. Oh, God. Damn it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the shittiest thing to find in the early game. Fuck Envy. Fuck him with a rusty fucking shiv up his sordid, torrid cock. It's the worst thing in fucking existence. Anyways. Trick for this fucker, always focus down one thing at a time. Try to avoid doing any damage to the other spheres. Just focus, pick one, and just focus it down. It is the easiest way to kill him. But even then, it still sucks, assholes. I hate, hate this boss. Oh, shit, I'm gonna get hit. Yeah, I'm gonna get hit. I know that's gonna happen. Fuck, fuck, fuck. It's easy, that's what I do. Just try and focus down one by one. There we go. There's two, and then focus the other one down. He's gonna split soon. Split, you fat bastard. Come on, there we go. See, even when, even when you have, like, a plan, it's just a pain. It just takes time. He just takes so goddamn long to kill. I just hate him for that reason. Like, the other bosses, you know, they can be annoying. They can be hard, but they, they don't take this fucking long. I, I, could start I could start writing a memoir. I might just start reading fucking War and Peace next time I run into fucking Envy. Oh, no, fuck reading. I'm gonna rewrite it in modern language. This is like the day of shitty drops. I can't believe A, I got a drop from Envy, and B, it gave me this fucking thing. I, I guess it's okay for early game damage. Uh, it's better than having the uh, slot machine and no coins, but still. So already I'm getting shit on by the item generator. This is a common occurrence in this game. Get used to it. I'm pretty sure Dear Edward, when he made this game, made it so that the, uh, the AI that controls what you get is just the biggest asshole possible. I mean, it makes that uh, the AI from... Left for Dead looked like a saint, <laughs> and that thing can be a prick on the higher difficulties. Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh, I still hate these enemies. No matter how many times I play this game, I hate the spiders. Oh god, I hate the spiders. <laughs> I'm turning into that dude from the fifth element. <laughs> the 
fuck is that guy's name? I just actually rewatched the fifth film of the other uh, fifth film of the other day. Ruby Rod. <laughs> it's like the most annoying role in a movie physically possible. Like I don't. Who the fuck wrote that? They, they were probably giggling to themselves as they just made everything about that guy. Actually, I have an extra bomb here. So whenever you see on the mini-map that there's a, a possibility of there being a hidden room, like with this gap on the map, if you have an extra bomb or two, just it's not really a waste. Just go for it. Even if you lose a bomb, I mean, you, you might get something like an extra life or transcendence or some kind of ridiculous boost. <laughs> Yeah, fuck this. <laughs> yeah, actually, shoot the whoop. Um, I should take it back. Isn't bad as an early game bonus. It's pretty much useless later on, but it does allow you to focus down the first few bosses quite easily. And that's. Eh, just getting all the meh power ups. Fuck. Oh no! God damn, I hate those things. Anyways, yeah, these first two levels are gonna be pretty, pretty goddamn boring. I'm not gonna lie, cause I'm pretty good at this thing. I just wanna say, guys, I'm pretty awesome at this game. Oh my god, yes! One of the best friggin' power-ups in the game is anything that gives you poison damage. Poison damage, dots, so good, so good. Feels so good around my member girl. <laughs> oh god. So I can just imagine just like an old timey person trying to like do the uh, skeet, <laughs> skeet fighter. <laughs> Dear woman, <laughs> I can't even talk. That's what happens. I can tell you guys. I just get so stupid eventually. I can't. I can't. What you little shit! Oh, I'm coming for you next. Oh, you're so dead. You're so dead. You little piece of shit. What's that? Oh, poison damage, motherfucker. That's what kills you. Not really. Um. Am I the only one who, like, almost never watches TV anymore? <laughs> Let's just keep on topic here. Uh, I, I honestly, I can, I can, like, count on my hand the last time, like, the last two months I've actually watched any kind of TV. Like, I'll occasionally watch, like, TV shows on, like, Netflix or something, or I'll look up a show on, like, YouTube if for some odd reason they haven't put it on Netflix yet. Like, uh, yesterday, actually, I watched the, uh, that new Joe Rogan show. It's on Sci-Fi. Um... Joe Rogan questions everything. I don't know. I've, I've seen the guy's podcast a few times. Some people hate him. They think he's like just a douchey loser. But I don't know. I kind of think he's funny. I, I enjoy his stuff. I think sometimes he gets some really, really, really interesting guests on his podcast. Uh, just some kind of cool people to talk to. Like even if they're just full of shit, and, like you, you know they're full of garbage. Like they still come up with some interesting things, and I, I kind of like that about people. You know, if, if you're gonna be full of shit, at least be interesting. That, that's why like I can't like deal occasionally with some people. It, it's when they're really into something and it just sucks and you don't want to hear about it. <laughs> it's like someone who's like really into like biking. Like, oh my god, I want to talk about my newest bike. I don't care. I don't care about anything you have to say. Like, I don't know. I find like I've got like that. I, I can kind of get that sense of myself. Like, maybe it's just the Dunning Kruger effect, but I kind of know when I'm interested in something which is fucking boring and no one else cares about. And I can kind of get that sense. Like, if I want to talk about what the potential applications for the fucking many world theory of sorry the many worlds interpretation of quantum physics and what that could mean for our personalities i know no one in their right friggin mind gives a shit about anything i have to say on this subject and they shouldn't because i'm not a scientist i'm just some friggin douchebag who read a few books when he was a kid and thinks he remembers some facts about it and it seemed kind of interesting like it's that's not it's not a source of knowledge it's, god damn it fuck me all right come on fuck off you little bastard little bastard wow I got two fleshy looky, like looking balls in this place. <laughs> I don't know why I find that funny, but it's just so fucking twisted. Actually, see, uh, this is a little tip for you, ladies and gentlemen. See, I have an extra heart there. If you have an extra heart and you realize there's one of those um, teethed roofs, rooms, always worthwhile to go check it out. Like, as long as you got the uh, the health to back it up, you occasionally can get some nice items from these things. See, I, like, I took a little bit of damage there, but I'd, I'd say it's worth it. Well, actually, I guess the only reason I was thinking about the whole quantum thing was, uh, recently played- Oh, actually, I can't say it. Fuck, I can't say what game I played, because then I'll be giving away shit about the game. I'll, I'll put this way, it was very, very popular, it got really good reviews, and it took me forever to, to actually play it, because I bought it on a Steam sale. I didn't want to buy it when it, when it just came out, because I don't want to pay- Like, I almost never buy games new. I'm a cheap asshole. God damn it, I'm taking way too much damage here. Uh, 
Now seriously, it's a really cool subject. I think it's actually one of those things which is really creepy when you really get down to it. Like, people might say, like, well, what happens when this happens? You know, what happens when we die? And I think there's some really creepy questions about consciousness that can be asked, even if you're completely non-religious. Like, but, like, um... <laughs> I have no idea what I'm talking I'm just gonna keep playing this video game, because... <laughs> this is what happens to me. Okay, when I was a kid, I, I tried to make a robot once by, um... by cooking plastic on a stove. And I stood in a room full of plastic smoke for, like, 25 minutes, so I'm pretty sure I've got some brain damage, or at least, like, slight brain damage. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I, I had this, like, psychology test done when I was younger, and they are like, Yeah, you know, you're a pretty smart kid, you got a, you got an IQ slightly above average, but that means fucking nothing for success in life, and you should never use it as an ego boost, ever. Uh, but, like, your working memory is in, like, the fifth percentile. I'm like, oh, like, like, 95% better than everyone else? I'm like, no, as in 95% of everyone has better memory than you. So, like, if I seem like I'm forgetting what the hell's going on when I'm doing these playthroughs, there's a reason for that. I'm, I'm basically functionally stupid. And fuck's sakes, I, I love getting labyrinth levels in the early game, but I hate it at the same time. Also, yeah, these little fuckers right here, these red dudes, just kite them all day, every day. Just make sure you don't walk yourself into a corner, because then you might actually take some damage from them. But for the most part, you really shouldn't. They're pretty damn easy. There we go. Oh, oh yeah, girl. Finally a bomb. I friggin' needed one. Oh, for fuck's sake. Nope. Ah! Oh, yeah. God damn it. Fuck my... No, no! Oh, God! Fuck! Me oh yeah, this is what I love. I love when the game does this. Look at this, look at this. And fuck you. Oh, I love you. <laughs> I love you, game. I want to have your baby. But honestly, this it's actually a really awesome game. If you guys have never played this one, just pick it up, play through it. It's it's actually kind. It's I can I like I'm trying to like try to figure out what kind of emotional engagement you can get from the Binding of Isaac. And to be honest, this is probably the second game. Like, in the list of games that have pissed me off the most, this is probably number two. Number one goes to League of Legends, and I don't think anything will ever beat that. Because <laughs> I don't know why, man, there's just something about MOBAs, and that one in particular, it just gives me, like, just puts the fire in my eyes. I just, whenever I'm, like, losing, and I continue to lose, and I just can't, don't have a chance of winning, it's just, oh, it just sucks so much. It just hurts. It's just painful. It's like getting kicked in the dick till the end of time. Y you know from like 1984 and they're like, imagine the future as a dude stomping like a human face to the end of time? Just getting- losing at LOL, like badly, is like just a guy just kicking your dick till the end of time. It's just- it hurts. It just hurts, man. Oh, fuck. This is a fun room. Focus, 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 yes! I don't know, whenever I play MOBAs, I, this is like a thing about me, I, I can't, I can't tank to save my life. At any game, I can never, ever play tank. Like, every single time I play an RPG, I almost never, like, I try to think on the, like, trying to count in the back of my hand, like, how many times I've actually played a character who, uh, is melee, or just does melee damage, but I, I actually can't think of it. I I'll pretty much never play melee characters. I, I pretty much only just play, you know, master cast or race, or just, uh, just range, just archer or something like that. I don't know, I just find it so much funner. I don't know, my brain kind of understands the dynamics. Actually, I guess it's kind of like, because I'm like, when I was a kid, I was a weak and like a wussy and never wanted to fight, so I kind of get that, that feeling of wanting to continuously kite someone who's stronger than you while hurting them and pissing them off. I, I just, my brain gets it. It understands that concept. Uh, I, I actually just love this part of this game. It just goes on and... Ah, that was retarded! <laughs> God damn. I totally forgot that they don't take any damage at all when they're in their close form. That's just bullshit. They should totally take some damage, like from an attack that goes through things. Oh no. Oh, this is a bad. Room. I don't like this room. I don't like this room. I don't like this room. Like I don't like my dad. I'm a joking. I love my dad. Oh god damn it! Fuck! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! We don't like you. No one likes. You. Where the fuck is the fucking golden room? Holy shit! I haven't done this in- Oh, this is the worst. I fucking hate when this game does this. Give me a Labyrinth and just hide. Hide the shit I actually care about. Just- Don't show him! It's a secret! Don't show him the good stuff! There you are. Douche. It just bugs me. I just want the cool shit. Just give me the cool shit. Actually, in this game, a surprisingly good item that if you ever get it, a lot of people are like, Oh my god, I got this terrible thing. Is the Black Bean. The thing that allows you to control farts is just one- Oh, 
I need to go change my underpants because that is fucking awesome. A laser with poison damage? Oh, so good. And I'm actually probably getting close to like 15 minutes, so I'm probably going to cut off here and uh, we'll start up again in a few minutes. Uh, so if you want to continue watching me talk about stupid random crap through my life and bad TV shows or maybe shitty movies, which I, I watch a lot of shitty movies, especially shitty horror films, I'm basically like an encyclopedia of shitty horror. Uh, if you want to hear me talk about such subjects and other pointless shit, uh, just come back in and watch me.